Outlaw Law is brought to you by Whitaker and Hamer Attorneys and Counselors at Law, your law firm for life. Welcome back into the Outlaw Lawyers. Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer are your hosts. They're the managing partners at Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm. Conveniently located offices in Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, and Gastonia. And they are practicing attorneys here in the great state of North Carolina. I'm Morgan Patrick, consumer advocate, and I kind of steer the ship a little bit. Uh, if you've got a legal situation you're facing, you've got questions, you can always call the firm 800 659 1186. That's 800 659 1186. One eight six. Leave your contact info. Briefly, what the call is about. An attorney will be in touch with you from Whitaker and Hamer. And you can always email your questions to the show. Questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. And speaking of that, now we get into some listener questions. Always a very popular segment. Well, Morgan, one of the one of the reasons we do this show, uh, one of the good things I like about this show is that we do have folks call in, um, and we usually we try to talk to everybody that calls in. We don't always get back. Uh, everybody right away but we have gotten back to to everybody who emails us or uh, texts us or or calls us and so I talked to I think I talked to five or six listeners uh, last week just about things they had going on some the firm could help with uh, some they just kind of needed some general general direction um, but it's always fun to talk to folks uh, and and so this is a this came from a a it wasn't really the the question they were asking me but this is something that we talked about one of our listeners um, and so I kind of rephrased the question to get it into a, a format that we can talk about here on the show. Uh, but basically, I got a special warranty deed at closing, right? So this this person, uh, this fictional person that we've made up, they went and they bought a house from, let's say, a builder. Um, it doesn't have to be a builder, but let's make it a builder for our scenario. And they they went to closing and they got their deed recorded. Uh, and then when they got the deed, the deed was called a, a special warranty deed. And, and uh, it's not something they had maybe talked about a lot before closing. So they they were kind of surprised here in our scenario. And so I thought this was a good idea to talk about uh, your deed, the deed to your home or your investment property or your your beach condo or whatever it may be. In North Carolina, there's, there's three types of, of deed. Um, and so the question came to be, what's the difference between a special warranty deed, a general warranty deed, and a quick claim deed. And there's other types, you know, you'll see a trustee's deed or, you know, there's other types of deeds we could talk about. These are the three you see the most. Um, Joe, what's a special warranty deed? Man, I tell you what, this is the type of conversation that really gets my my blood boiling. And, and uh, I get very passionate about my deeds. So I had to get up and turn the fan on because I was getting hot in here <laughs> thinking about this, this riveting deed discussion. So... Um, <laughs> But yeah, you set that up beautifully, Josh. Uh, causes a lot of confusion with folks. Um, like you said, three, three, generally three types of deeds, and and we start off with the most, I'd say, the most common that we see from day to day, which is that the general warranty deed. And so basically, what a general warranty deed is, is is you know your seller or you, if you are conveying this property to someone, you're stating that you are you're going to warrant just generally against any kind of title issue that there may be out there. You're defending the title that you're conveying, and you're representing that that title is good uh, against all comers, whether it be people from before you in the chain of title, uh, obviously nothing after the fact that you convey the property out, but you're just basically saying that not only are you going to warn against you know the time that you had the property, but you're going to say you know anything prior to this, I'm I'm willing to to warrant and, and basically guarantee that there are no kind of outstanding issues, and that I'm conveying good title to you. Yeah. So someone comes to comes to me or Joe and say, you know what, guys, I've got this piece of real property under contract. I got to close in 30 days. I need a, I need a title search. So we get busy. In North Carolina, there's a statute in play, but basically most searches you're you're going to go 30 years uh, or more uh, to establish ownership, to establish what we call marketable title. And so we're gonna we're gonna go back to that that first deed 30 years or so back, um, and then and then come forward. And so your seller. Uh, you know, if everything looks good, your seller would give you a general warranty deed and you're closed. It's it's your house. You're all done. Uh, but let's say you come to find out like 180 years ago, uh, some guy granted a, a utility easement that's never been used. Uh, but now let's say the gas company, you know, wants to use it. And so they send you a letter saying, hey, we got an easement. Your closing attorney might not have seen it because it was 180 years ago or 115 or 80, you know, whatever, whatever the time period is. Um, your general warranty deed, you go back against your seller on that. That's something you can sue even after closing. 
certain things you can still sue a seller for. So general warranty deed, uh, a seller would be liable in that situation because they gave you a warranty that, hey, it's as good as it gets. Um, so that's a general warranty deed. And that's what you get at most close at most standard closings where you're buying a house, uh, you're going to get a general warranty deed. But however, there's many instances where uh, usually like a corporate seller, uh, maybe uh, someone who flips properties and doesn't really hold on to them very long. Uh, there's a lot of folks that'll say, hey, I'll sell you this property, but I'll only give you a special warranty deed. And so what is that, Joseph, a special warranty deed? So, like you said, we see this a lot with you know some some of these larger national builders, uh, some corporate sellers. But but basically, the special warranty deed, you're still going to be getting a, a, a warranty. Your seller is still warranting something to you, but it's going to be restricted and limited from what you will get from a general warranty deed. So basically, what the seller is going to warrant to you is they're not going to say any, you know, they're not speaking as to prior to their ownership of the property. They're saying from the time that they acquired this property, they themselves have done nothing to impair the title. They have, you know, they've got no liens or judgments or other kind of issues that would affect title to the property. Uh, and, and they're going to warrant against anything from the date they, they acquired forward. But anything prior to that, anything that predated their ownership, you know, that's that's something that they're not going to defend against. So the, the practical effect of that is, is if the, if you are conveyed by special warranty deed a property and you discover a, a title defect, say you go to sell that property and there's a title defect that, that pops up from prior to that that seller's ownership, you know, they're going to have no liability to you for any of those issues as far as th- the warranty that's provided by that deed. And and. And, and with that, I would also say that you're still, even if you agree to that, and that's something you contract for, right? That's something that when you, you say, hey, I'll pay $250 uh, for this property, and I'll agree that I'll take a, a special warranty deed. So that's something you negotiate. Um, and so you've you've agreed to take a special warranty deed, but you're still going to take that to a closing attorney, hopefully Whitaker and Hamer. Uh, but you're going to take that to a closing attorney, and that closing attorney is still going to do the same search, the same title search they would for any other closing. So you're still going to have an attorney uh, here in North Carolina. It's an attorney examine uh, title, but a special warranty deed is, is different. It's, it's, uh, it's less of a, uh, a little bit less of a commitment from your seller. And then if we keep on going down the line, uh, you know, we got, we got a quick claim deed next. And, and so I think some people get special warranty deeds and quick claims confused, but Joe, what's a quick claim? I'll tell you what people get confused is they get confused over the fact that it's actually called a quit as in Q U I T claim deed, as opposed to a quick Q U I C K claim D. That's one of the that's one of the big issues we see, brother. That's a pet peeve of mine. I know. I saw an uh, I, I, I saw an attorney, an out of state attorney, draft a, a North Carolina deed. I don't think I, maybe they were licensed in North Carolina. It's a whole different discussion, but it came through as a quick with a C K D. Now that bothered me too. I, I was sure. Yeah, to, I we can't that speak. Out. We can't speak to what the quick claim D does, but uh, the quick claim D. Basically, what you have when you have a quick claim deed, it's, you know, we talked about the general warranty, which is extremely broad, defends against all comers, the special warranty, which is more limited and just defends against the the time that the, that seller owned the property. Then you've got the quick claim deed, which is basically, I'm giving you what I got. I don't know what it is. I'm making no warranty as to my title in this property. I may not even have title in this property. I could have no interest in it whatsoever. I'm giving you what I have, uh, whether that be a fractional interest whether it be encumbered by 16,000 liens, there's there's no representation being made and I'm not warranting against literally anything. I am just giving you what I've got. So that could be good. It could be perfectly fine. There could be no issue or it could be horrible and you could be you know taking on a terrible, terrible problem. Um, but the quick claim deed is just, you're getting what I've got, deal with it. Yeah. So a quick claim deed, you see that pop up a lot between spouses who are maybe getting divorced or, or have separated. So you'll see one spouse quick claim their interest, uh, you know, to the, to the other spouse, or you'll see that if like eight people inherit a piece of property, somebody, you know, the heirs will start, you know, if somebody's agreeing to buy it, buy them out, they'll start quick claiming their interest to, uh, uh, but, but that's where you usually see those. You usually don't see those in like what I would call a normal closing where you've gone, you've gone under contract to buy a house from a builder. You're, you're not going to see a quick claim. That's not what really when they're used, but that's kind of the step ladder, you know, general warranty deed. Then underneath that's a special warranty deed. And then way, way, way down low, uh, is the quick claim deed. But that is a quick, I, I say quick, I felt like it was a quick, that's a quick primer on the different deeds in North Carolina and an answer to our first listener question today. We have a second one coming up next. Quit claim. 
There. Not quick claim. There you go. Don't upset Josh Whitaker. The Outlaw Lawyers, Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer, Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm, where you can find a managing partners there. And again, practicing attorneys here in North Carolina. If you've got your own legal question, you can always contact the firm by calling 800-659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. Leave your contact information and briefly what that call is about. An attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be calling you back. You can always email your questions to the program. That's questions at the Outlaw Lawyers. Com. Another listener question coming up on the other side. Again, you're listening to The Outlaw Lawyers. 